We're ready for help now. Uh, if you want to go ahead and grab your help book, today being Thursday, March 26th, be sure you're on the right video, Thursday, March 26th. Um, today in help, we're going to start with pages 12 through 18. We're going to go over the questions on page 12, and we're going to just kind of um, go through page 18. And then at the end of the lesson on page 19 through 20, you'll finish reading that on your own and answering the questions on page 20, and that's where we'll start tomorrow with that review. Okay, so yesterday we talked about posture and um, certain ways that you sit, stand, um, even when you're, you know, running, you want to make sure that, remember, your ears over your shoulders, shoulders straight back, you don't want your head forward or too far back. We talked about balancing the book on your head. Don't know if you can do that or not. Um, it, it takes a lot of practice. It takes, you know, that balance that we talk about. So we went over that. We went over um, pulling correctly, bending correctly, picking things up. When you pick something up, you don't want to reach down and pull it up with your back. It puts a strain there. You want to lift with your legs. Your legs are a lot stronger than your back. So just be sure that you're doing those things correctly. Um, pushing, lifting, we've talked about those things. So let's start on page 12, your true faults. Um, number one, if you are standing correctly, your ears, shoulders, waist, knees, and ankles will be in a straight line. Let me see. Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Is that true or false, Chloe? I can see you saying, that is true. And yes, Chloe, that is true. That word there, straight, is correct, that underlined word. Number two, shoes that are tight make it easy to walk correctly. Let's see. Hey, Cam. Cam, what do you think? That is false. You are correct. No, no, no. Shoes that are too tight are very painful. So Cam, what should that word be? Hard, that's right. It makes it hard to walk. You cannot walk in shoes that do not fit correctly. Not very far anyway. Okay, number three, you can improve your posture with practice. You can improve your posture with practice. Jeremiah, hey Jeremiah, can you improve your posture with practice? Mm-hmm, and you have to, yes, that is true. Thank you, Jeremiah. You have to practice. Even I, at my age, have to practice. It's something that you have to keep yourself, you know, in mind of. It's so easy, especially when we're tired. You just want to slump over and just walk. But it just really does not do your body uh, for breathing, circulation, even digestion. You're just crushing all that stuff down, standing up straight. Remember we talked about yesterday, God designed this body. He designed this temple. He is a, the perfect architect. He is the master architect. He knew what we needed, okay? So number three is true. Uh, we have matching um, at the bottom. Number four, you bend, bend at the knees, place one foot in front of the other, stepping backwards. That's B, right? That's pulling. Remember I told you puppy, when he has his little toy and he's pulling, his little feet are just going backwards. He is a master. He is pulling, trying to get that toy away from me. Now, he's pretty strong to be as little as he is. So, yes, that is pulling. Number five, lean forward with your head. I'm sorry. No, no. Rewind. Lean forward with your body in a straight line from head to heel. Yes, when you're pushing. Yes, you want to lean your weight of your body, will, the momentum will push whatever it is forward. You push with your body, okay? So that is correct, pushing. And number six, keep your back straight and bend your knees. Yes, that's when you lift. You don't want to roll your back over and pick up something. The weight will be in your back that you're pulling. So just be sure you lift with your legs. They've got big muscle groups. They're super strong. You can pick up um, weight there much easily, more easily. Okay, so let's look at page 13. Hmm. 
got some um, terms to remember there at the top, which should be familiar from science. Voluntary muscles, muscles that move when you want them to. Involuntary muscles, muscles that move automatically without you, your thinking of them. So we think of voluntary muscles. My arms have voluntary muscles. My leg and my socks have voluntary muscles. But thank goodness that my heart is an involuntary muscle. Because if it was not, we talked about, we couldn't keep up with our body. Heartbeat, breathe, blink, stomach digest. We couldn't do all those things that we need to do. We would, we would, that's all we would be able to do is to keep up telling those muscles what to do. So the brain takes over and does that for us. Now we have those that we can move ourselves and you know they I mean it's important to be able to pick your legs up and be able to pick your arms up and move, but it's also very important to breathe. And it's also very important for your heart to beat. So those are things that the body takes care of for us without us having to think about it. Exercise, any activity that uses the muscles of the body and endurance exercise, exercises that strengthen the heart and lungs, okay? So let's look at page 13. You can see um, just kind of going down and, and highlighting there. We have over 600 muscles in our body. Some of them are large and some are small that we've talked about. And we've talked about voluntary and involuntary muscles, okay? Now, as you guys are growing in the second column there, your muscles grow in size and strength, and they grow from the, the food you eat, and they grow from your exercising. So you guys who want big muscles, ladies too, you got to be sure that you're eating and exercising and taking care of yourself. You know, a muscle is part of your body, just like anything else. We need to feed it. We need to uh, nurture it, make sure we're taking care of it. It's part of our temple. Look at uh, page 13. Exercise does these things for you. It strengthens your heart and lungs, increases your endurance, good posture, those muscles are strong, improves your coordination, improves your appetite, okay? Helps your digestion, helps control your weight, improves your blood circulation, helps you relax, and it keeps you alert, okay? Page 14, the importance of exercise. Exercise is any activity that uses the muscles of your body. Now, I know it's been kind of rainy and uh, chilly the past couple of days, but hopefully we have some sunshine and you guys can get outside and have some exercise, just walking around the yard. Um, I was, you know, outside walking around the yard. Um, my gym has been closed that I go to and exercise, so I've had to do some stuff at home. And we have to remember that exercise is good for our body. I mean, not to overdo it, but a little exercise you that dance, play ball, do those things, um, all that's good for you. Um, whether you exercise or work, give it your best, uh, knowing that God is pleased when you give 100%. Help out. Write some ways that you help at home that are also good exercise. I mean, taking out the trash, taking out the dog for a walk, doing those things. Um, if you're allowed to help mow the lawn, you can do that. That's good. I was pushing that lawnmower pulling that lawnmower. I have good exercise with my muscles, walking, maybe some other things that you wrote there. Mm -hmm. Doing some chores, right? Um, helping clean, running the vacuum for mom. That I mean, that takes exercise. It takes, you know, your arms pushing and pulling. If you have a two-story house, carrying laundry upstairs for mom, dropping it off, coming back downstairs, getting more, going up and down those steps. That's good exercise, okay? So let's move to page 15. Um, you have uh, the story there of a blacksmith. During our country's early days, each town had a blacksmith. The blacksmith was a man who a man who made and repaired iron objects such as horseshoes by hammering them on an anvil. The blacksmith was a hard-working man. His muscles got a lot of exercise when he worked. What lines in the poem below tell you that he had strong muscles? And what lines tell you how he got them? Okay, so um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow is our poet here. Lines from the village blacksmith. Under a spreading chestnut tree, the village smithy stands. The smith, a mighty man. Mighty man is he with large and sinewy hands. 
and the muscles of his brawny arms are strong as iron bands. And you guys looking at your muscles, you ladies, you guys looking at your muscles? Yeah. Week in, week out, from morning till night, from morn till night, you can hear his bellows blow. You can hear him swing his heavy sledge with measured beat and slow. Like a sexton ringing the village bell when the evening sun is low. So that's a, a poem there from Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Took a lot of endurance and strength for him to um, make, to beat that iron, to beat that metal, whatever it was. That's not just little soft marshmallows. I mean, that was a lot of work to mold and shape those pieces. And there were a lot of different pieces that he made. So it was a, a very tedious job. A, a lot of hard work went into it. Page 16, um, exercise, endurance exercise, um, running, swimming, jumping, rope are good for your heart and lungs. They make your heart beat faster and fill your lungs with air. You have to breathe in and out. You're taking in air, spelling air, a lot goes on there. And those are called endurance exercise because they, they strengthen your heart and lungs as well as other muscles of your body. So endurance exercises. We need strong heart. Heart's a what? That's right, your heart's a muscle. So we have to make sure that we're taking care of it. If we don't take care, and you know, sometimes we lift weights to try to make our muscles and our arms stronger. Um, not really a weight we can lift with our heart, but we need to feed it and make sure we're getting good exercise, okay? Number one, true or false? Voluntary muscles move automatically. That's right, that's false. The underlying word there should be involuntary. Number two, muscles that move when you want them to are voluntary muscles. True, yep, voluntary. Number three, work is an excellent form of exercise. True, yeah, that is true. That's why it's called work. <laughs> it is exercise. Going out, picking garden, um, you know, whatever, harvesting those vegetables, it's, it's work. I mean, that mowing the lawn, it's work. Um, pulling the weeds out of the garden, maybe, you know, your mom or grandma has a flower bed, and it's going to be warm. It's going to be in the 80s this weekend. That sun's going to come out, all this rain we've had. Those weeds and things are going to start coming up in those gardens. Go out and pull them out. Um, it's good exercise. Number four, exercise is any activity that uses bones in your body. No, that's false. You're right. You should have written uh, there muscles. That underlying word should be muscles there. Number five, endurance exercises strengthen your heart and lungs. And that is true. Okay. Page 17. We just have a couple more pages and then we'll be finished with our lesson for today. All right. Um, so page 17. Um, getting fresh air. When you get up in the morning or after you've been sitting still for a long time, do you feel tired and sleepy? Sure, that's why we yawn, right? Our body's trying to wake itself up. Exercise can help. Exercise improves your blood circulation and makes you feel refreshed and alert. Stand up and do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? Stand up. Do them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel better? Ah, yes you do. You feel better. Feel your heart beating a little bit faster? I do. No, not quite that bad at ten jumping jacks, but feel your breathing's picked up a little bit? Yeah, I can feel my heart beating a little faster. That blood is pumping through, okay? The best place to get exercise is outside. So just try over the next couple of days, go out and get some fresh air and sunshine. Uh, get moving at the bottom. What are some, write some of your favorite ways to exercise in fresh air. Maybe riding your bike, um, jumping rope. Maybe you enjoy uh, running. We play with Puppy and Judge. We throw the ball, Puppy will run, his little feet run, 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 run. He'll get it, he'll bring it back, but he don't give it to you. You have to kind of chase him to get it. So we, I mean, we do those things. We, you know, we just have things that we do outside. Maybe you have a basketball 
go outside, you play basketball, trampoline. Yes. Oh, a trampoline will wear you out. It makes you tired. It, all you do is bouncing, right? Not too much. Using those legs to make you jump up and down. You know, it, it is a lot of work. And I'm sure some of you can do flips and tricks. Great exercise. Yes. Um, page 18. So we never got the jump rope. I know. We wanted to jump rope. When we get back, we will jump rope. Yes. We will eat ice cream. No, maybe jump rope first, then eat ice cream. Probably don't need to jump rope, then eat ice cream. That might not work out too well. But jumping rope. Jumping rope is a wonderful, wonderful exercise. It really gets your heart pumping, gets your blood flowing. It's one of those endurance exercises. Total body. You're using everything. You're using your arms. You're using your legs, your muscles. Everything's working. All of your muscles are working. Yes. So the key to being active is to get moving. So try to get up and, and get some fresh air and sunshine. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to going outside and when it gets warm and being able to throw the frisbee and the ball and puppy run and get them. So um, that is the end of our lesson together today for help. Um, right now, what I'd like for you to do is read pages 19 through 20. And on the bottom of page 20, you have a comprehension check. So I'd like for you to answer those just few little matching um, right there. Okay? So this is will be um, talking about resting. This section will, the importance of sleep. Okay? I know it's kind of odd schedule right now. You might be going to bed a little later, getting up, you know, a little later. Um, you may still be on your same routine. I'm not sure. But just it's really important to be sure that you're sleeping. Your body does a lot of repair and a lot of work when you sleep. So just read about that tonight and just be thinking about those things and then answer your questions on page 20. Okay, so we're finished with help now. So our next subject coming up will be history.